Today we're talking about the ammo bug that steals your BFG and other ammo, how it will mess up your Ultra Nightmare run, and also what you can do to avoid it. Alright, let me explain how this happens. So first of all, we have finished the level, we have no BFG ammo here, and we've reached our checkpoint fast travel. Now, this is a little Ultra Nightmare trick that I like to do, so I'm going to show you here. We're going to leave it all together so you know I'm not cutting anything out or faking or editing anything else. So I'm going to go back to this crystal here and we're going to fill up on ammo. We're going to do this because it will refill my BFG as you'll see here. So we'll just need to grab whatever ammo upgrade. It's a trick I recommend for Ultra Nightmare. So watch this. As you see here, we have full BFG. So let's fast travel back. This is the crazy part here. So we go to the central power core room. We're going to drop back down into this next room just like we were finishing the level. Now there's other places this can happen, but this is a really good example to show you. Okay, we are leaving the level with 60 BFG. You see it right here. So let's say that I'm done playing for the day and I escape to save and exit. This takes me back to the main menu. And let's say it's Ultra Nightmare, for instance. This is where it happened to me. And I thought, okay, well, I want to practice this level of Nightmare on Necrovol next, and then I want to load my Ultra Nightmare save. Okay, so let's pretend like I just practiced. All right, go here. Fortress of Doom, this is the save, this is the date, we continue the game. Here is where the problem lies. I want you to pay very close attention to my ammo count in the bottom right hand corner. And I just want to tell you something else about this bug too while this level loads. If you have zero BFG and you go, you pick up the Unmaker, it will fill you to 60. If you load your checkpoint without establishing a new checkpoint, it will take it back to zero and you will keep your Unmaker. So very, very risky situation there in that regard but just take a look at this in the cutscene just like normal zero bfg whoa whoa what just happened let me explain to you what this is okay so assuming we're playing the game and we hit this bug what do we do when we come into necroval for instance now i'll talk about how this bug happens and how to avoid it and all that here in just a second but let's take a look at a real world example all right so we're just running through necroval here and i want to say okay well this will be nice check this out Okay, so I want to say, what do I do? Well, of course, there's an ammo crystal right over there from an upgrade. Why don't I go get that? Okay, let's do that. Well, wait a minute. There's a problem. Let's say that I wanted to use this crystal at the very end of this map when we get up to over at the tower. Let's say I wanted to use that for an ammo upgrade. Uh, what did I just do? Wow. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get it now. Why not? Just to try and see. Now, it's nice because we have the rest of the map with this upgrade unlocked, but if you really have to figure out what's more valuable to you, getting this ammo now early in this map or getting two free BFG at the end, well, now my choice is made for me. If I fast travel back here, this is gone and I'm eternally screwed. So let's talk about this bug and how it happens and how we can avoid it. So here's what happens and why it needs fixed. Whenever I got that last checkpoint in fast travel, the game establishes my ammo count, not just for the BFG, but for other guns based off of that final checkpoint before I leave the level. Because I went back and I got the crystal to refill my ammo, or if I would have picked up any BFG cells on the ground, those don't matter if I save and exit at that point. The game uses my fast travel final checkpoint as I save and exit the level. To avoid that, I could have gone into the next level, continued, and then hit Alt F4 to get out and resume at that checkpoint, and then it would have been fine. Here's the problem with that. So for one, this will definitely screw up your Ultra Nightmare runs, because it has hit me before and it hurts. Now, if I knew to Alt F4, if I knew how this worked, many thanks to the Discord for helping figure this out, then this could have been avoided. However, what if you're on console? You don't really have the option to Alt F4 out as easily. You could kind of unplug your console or, or whatever else you could do, but I just don't feel like that's very safe. So you're kind of stuck in this situation. Now, this also hurts because the strategy that I just showed you about using the crystal and fast travel to get the ammo to go into the next level with full BFG, that is massive. Like, if you can sacrifice that ammo upgrade, you can literally, literally have eight more BFG for the end of the campaign. I don't know if you can hear me like hitting my hand like that to drive home the point on how big that is. You do sacrifice loot magnet early on, which does suck, but if you don't know this is going to happen or if you don't know how it's going to happen, it sucks to go into the next level not knowing that your BFG ammo is gone. Because when you do Ultra Nightmare, you have a route, you have a plan, you say, hey, this is where I'm going to try to use this BFG, that BFG, this ammo, and I'm going to pick up new BFG on this part here, or Unmaker, whatever you use with the Argent ammo. And when you go into a level that you've practiced and practiced and you've gotten the plan down, and then all of a sudden, two of your BFG are gone, that's huge. 
That's like two whole waves of arena cleared that you originally had another plan for. Well, now you don't. So it just shows how important adaptability is. When you're playing the game, whenever you have a plan that is beginning to fail, not just sticking to that and just falling and going down with the ship, being able to figure out a new plan. But still, whenever it happens and you're not expecting it to, that hurts. It's kind of like the old blood punch bugs that we had a while back. Remember those? Well, whenever you have something and it is an expectation for the game to deliver on it, it hurts when it doesn't do that. And of course, like I said, this is not intentional. This is a bug in how the game registers your ammo values from the checkpoint. But when you are going in, say, for that blood punch, you're thinking, all right, I am going to get this blood punch. I'm doing a high risk, high reward move in order to make this work and take this benefit. Same thing with the BFG. The BFG is, in this case, I don't know if I would call it the same high risk, high reward, but check this out. You are using a very valuable ammo source in order to clear out a wave in a fight. So by saying, I am using up this very important 30 cells trading off for this arena. If I am going into battle expecting that to be there, I really want that to be there for my plan. And to go a step further, I, I'm going to kind of want a little more information on this one, but I've heard about speedrunners with the ballista ammo running into this issue to where they think they're going to have X amount, but they actually have Y amount or Z amount, which it would be whatever they had at the last checkpoint. Now, I was speaking with someone in the Discord, MMA Fro. He is a console 100% Ultra Nightmare speedrunner. I believe he has the record. And he has said that the checkpoints have messed up in all these other situations. It is not just the Taurus Nabod crystal. It's not just Taurus Nabod at all. It's many other places in the game that this happens and it can really throw you for a loop, as they say. It's not just the Unmaker as well. There's so much to consider and I'm really curious where all these other issues would be. And it's more than just an ammo value is because when you're playing Ultra Nightmare and you get nervous, you will tend to maybe play a little worse than you would if you were fine. And if this suddenly hits you, all of a sudden you're confident in this level you've practiced over and over and over again, and then you go in and your ammo is gone, you're thinking, oh crap, oh crap, now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. What am I going to do about these other two arenas? I was going to do this plan, and then you start to get a little worried, and your play suffers because of it. Now, I did report this bug to Bethesda, and here's the thing too. If you ever see a bug like this, go to the Bethesda support page and send in a bug report. Because I've seen people, even in other issues when it comes to Doom Eternal bugs, they say, well, my skins are gone, or this isn't working. Send a report in. That is the best thing that you can do to not only help yourself, but to help the community and the devs figure out what is going wrong. And it's on the Bethesda site, it's a support ticket, it guides you through how to do this whole thing, and if you run into this, that is what you should definitely do. Comment below if you've seen this bug, and then check out the next video here, is Doom Eternal fun without quick switching? I'm Austin, thanks for watching.